loose women panelist Janet Street Porter hit out against the couple on Tuesday afternoon and claimed they were selling the royal family down the line. Charlene White introduced the segment by showing viewers the recent trailer, with the live audience booing. She asked her fellow co-stars, the drama, will you be watching? Frankie Bridge admitted, 100%. I know it is an unpopular opinion but I feel like the trailers, whether you do like them or you don't like them, they know what they are doing. Those trailers just draw you in and they make me want to watch them. So I will definitely be watching, I am excited about it. I think it is sad isn't it? It's a horrible situation that they have all got into, no one wants to be doing this to family and it's not nice. But I can kind of see why he possibly feels like he needs to have his chance to say how his life has been and how it has affected him. Slamming the series and the way they have acted around the release of the trailers, Janet hit back. There are a lot of things you could sell without selling your father and your brother down the line for $91 million. When I watched that trailer, there has been so much controversy over the last few weeks about the crown and how near it is to the truth. Is it a good or bad drama? When I look at that trailer that we have just seen, a lot of that is a work of fiction. It is not that different to the trailers for The Crown. I mean it's packaged and put together by a very skilled director and Harry says he wants to tell their story, but in fact, the director is telling their story, she claimed. Janet continued, If you look at the clips, my main beef is it's all a bit artificial, it is confected, Looking at the pictures, that's the Harry Potter premiere, that is nothing to do with Meghan and Harry. Another picture is Donald Trump's lawyer, that's the press surrounding him. The final picture is as if it's snooping down on them and you know invading their privacy. That was at a photo call they set up and they invited the press too, so on those three counts alone, I find that trailer artificial. I think they want to tell their truth but they are using very strange ways of telling us the truth. Don't tell a lie. The passion they seem to fear about telling their story led him to release the first trailer during his brother's very important tour of America that to me is just a vindictive act. Colleen Nolan explained she wanted to watch the series to see their point of view, as she felt both sides of the story had to be told.